Dessert is the most important meal of the day. And I'm going to show you a quick and easy dessert that you can put together using phyllo pastry. I'm going to show you my pantry strudel. Now, I call it my pantry strudel because I'm going to use stuff that's in the pantry and easy to get hold of. Now, the trick with phyllo pastry is once you've got your phyllo pastry stored in the fridge and you want to use it, take it out of the fridge and let it come up to room temperature for about an hour. And that makes it soft and easy to use. And once you've got it, you just pop it over onto a tea towel like this and then you're ready to go. Now, the other thing I like to have ready is some melted butter. You can see I've got a pot of melted butter here and a pastry brush ready to brush the pastry. Now, phyllo pastry is a delicate, easy pastry to use, but the thing you need to remember is it's a pastry that needs to fry. So using a little bit of butter is the perfect way to get it to crisp up. So I carefully lay a few sheets across each other and just pull them apart nice and gently. When the pastry is nice and soft like this, it's really, really simple to use. And it's a great one if you've got family members that you want to get into the kitchen and have a little bit of fun. It's a really easy one to put together. So I'll lay out six sheets. And if you wanted to, if you had a bigger bench, you could lay out even more and make it longer. But this will be the perfect size to fit on that tray. And that's something you need to keep in mind when you're making a dish like this. How are we going to cook it? And is the tray big enough to go into the oven? And it's a matter of starting in one corner over here and just brushing the butter nice and evenly. You don't need too much butter, but you need to make sure that you brush it all the way to the edges like that. And once you've got it brushed over like this, we just keep layering up the phyllo pastry until we've used the entire packet and we've spread it all out like this with layers of butter in the middle of it. Very easy to do. Okay, we've got the last couple of layers on there and it's just making sure that that butter goes all the way to the edges so it crisps up nicely. The butter also gives it a great flavour as well. Now, here's the fun part. You can layer this up with whatever you have in the pantry. That's why I call it such an easy pantry dish. I've got some flaked almonds here. Coconut works as well. And you just sprinkle it over lightly. Some cinnamon is great, but make sure you just use a pinch. It is quite strong. And I've got some uh, raisins here. Just spread them out like this. Some raw sugar because we need some sweetness and I spread that all the way around. I like it really sweet, so I use plenty of sugar. Now, I often use some breadcrumbs as well because they help to sort of give it a bit of crisp and dry up any liquid that comes out of the ingredients you usually put in your strudel. Now, the most important thing you need in strudel is apple. I've sweated this apple off in a little bit of butter and some sugar till it's nice and caramelised. You don't have to use the apple, but the apple makes it really delicious. Now, to roll it up is really simple. You start at one end here, pick it up gently and just start rolling it. Roll it all the way down here like this and bring the phyllo pastry together as you roll it. You roll it up till you get to the end here. Now I make sure I brush the outside of it with plenty of butter because that's gonna help to keep it nice and soft as I bend it around. You're looking for a horseshoe shape. And you know what, if you break it on the first time, don't worry, by the time you've done it a couple of times, it'll come out perfect. That's the shape I'm looking for. And then with a tray like this, just pick it up nice and gently, pop it onto your tray. Now I'll give it a little bit more butter around the edges because the butter will help it come nice and golden brown. And then to give it a little bit more texture and colour and fluff it up just a little bit, some poppy seeds over the top. Now it's important that you preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. That's a nice hot temperature for phyllo pastry, makes it crisp up really quickly and makes it nice and golden. Into the oven, about 25 minutes, this will be a cracker. Looks great, really crisp, and that's what I love about phyllo pastry. Now, I just sort of put some icing sugar on top and pop it straight on the table. I'm going to put a little bit of custard in the bowl here because strudel goes so well with custard. Now, I cut it with a serrated knife so you can see all the layers on the inside. And I cut it on an angle so it looks nice and nice and pretty. And then it's just a matter of picking it up, popping it into the bowl there like that, and then garnishing it with a little sprig of mint on the side. <sighs> nice and crunchy, that's what you want to hear. The custard. Mm. Once you've made this, you won't want to share it with anyone else.